More than a decade after an explosion at a mine killed 29 workers in New Zealand, police say they have finally found at least two of the bodies. In November 2010, a series of blasts ignited by methane gas ripped through the Pike River mine on the west coast. Only two men managed to escape in what was one of the country's worst industrial disasters. Police said on Wednesday, images taken late last week drawn deep boring in the mine confirmed two bodies with the possibility of a third. Detective Superintendent Peter Reed. The images have been reviewed by pathologists um, and they're taken from the furthest reaches of the mine. So they're the furthest area in the mine that you could be from the entrance, the portal area. Um, and it's not possible for us to recover them. Uh, while we've been unable to identify the remains, we're working with forensic experts to see what we can do um, to confirm the identities. For years the mine was shuttered and entry barred due to safety concerns. Investigators were eventually allowed access in 2019, following calls from the families of the miners. Elon Musk has sold even more shares in Tesla. Regulatory filings on Friday showed that Musk disclosed a sale of just under 640,000 shares of the electric car maker. It comes days after he already sold about $5 billion worth of the stock. The Tesla CEO and world's richest person made the sales following a Twitter poll he ran last weekend. He asked if he should offload 10% of his company's stock, and the majority of online voters approved. Musk owned a 23% stake in Tesla before the sales, including stock options. He had said before that he would have to exercise a large number of stock options in the next three months. Doing so would create a big tax bill. Selling some of his stock could free up funds to pay the taxes. The sales so far still amount to a lot less than 10% of his stake. Turkish authorities have arrested a man in connection with the July assassination of Haitian President Jovenel Moise, Haiti's Foreign Minister Claude Joseph said late on Monday. The 53-year-old former businessman Moise, who took office in 2017, was shot dead at his private residence and his wife was wounded in the attack. A group of Colombian mercenaries emerged as the main suspects, though nobody's been charged or convicted in connection with the case. Joseph said on Twitter that he'd thanked Turkey for the arrest of Samir Handel, whom he called, quote, one of the persons of great interest in the investigation. Turkish media reported on Tuesday that Handel, who was being sought with an Interpol red notice, was detained at Istanbul airport by authorities. The arrest came as he was flying transit from the United States to Jordan. Turkey's interior ministry did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the matter. UK inflation surged to a 10-year high last month as household energy bills soared. That's according to data released Wednesday. Consumer prices rose by 4.2% on the year in October, beyond all forecasts and up from just over 3% in September. The National Statistics Office said household energy bills were the main driver. Gas prices were up by close to a third in the year to October. The soaring inflation means the Bank of England is now widely expected to raise rates at its December policy meeting. It would be the first of the world's major central banks to do so since the health crisis began. There were also other signs of inflation pressure in UK data. Prices charged by factories rose more than expected, up 8% on the year. Manufacturers' input costs also jumped 13%, the most since 2008. Finance Minister Rishi Sunak said rising inflation was not just a British problem, with US price rises now above 6%. Sunak says the government will take action to offset the hit to spending power.